party people i am back it is monday december 28th um it's also the third day of kwanzaa uh, so habari gani today's principle is ujima which means cooperative work and responsibility so happy kwanzaa uh, i actually have the day off today and i thought that this would be a great day to do my visit a new city challenge as you can see the sun is not letting me be great right now it is a bright sunny day and it's not too too cold right now it's just creeping up on 50 degrees so yeah that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna visit a new city and that city is frederick Maryland. i love traveling but of course due to covid can't really travel i mean well you can because people have been living their life down in tulum <laughs> but i haven't really been traveling like that and actually um right now in maryland technically we're not supposed to be traveling outside of maryland or its bordering states due to like an emergency travel advisory or something we have right now so i figured well let me just visit a new city that's right here in maryland and i've heard that uh frederick is really nice and the downtown area is nice so yeah i was like well let me hop in the car and go to frederick it's about an hour and a half away so i just got on the road but yeah we're gonna go see what frederick is talking about so you guys see this truck right here advertising for frederick I thought that was pretty apropos <laughs> for my trip. So I just thought that was cool and I wanted to show you guys. Um, you might not be able to see, but it says Visit Frederick and it says Hip in the Story. So yeah, I thought that was a cool little thing to see on my drive. downtown Frederick. I just parked the car, about to pay for my parking and then do some exploring. Right now I'm just walking around. I'll probably stop and get lunch from somewhere because I'm pretty hungry. But um, yeah, not really um, looking for anything particular because I didn't really look up much stuff when I came out here. I just looked up the address of one place just so it could get me right here. But yeah, I'll keep walking. So I see a couple of things that look interesting to me. It's a Cuban restaurant here. Oh my gosh. Hold on, let me see if they open. Oh, I hear music. Oh yeah. We coming back there, bro. I'm gonna keep walking around a little bit.
that like this whole Christmas setting is like something out of a movie or something. I hate y'all, so I think I'm gonna turn around and go back to the Cuban place before I get too far out. And we'll do some more exploring after I get me something to eat. So like most restaurants, they are doing the QR code menu right now, but I was having some connectivity issues, so my waitress gave me their real menu. So I just left the Cuban restaurant. I ended up getting the Roja Vieja as you saw and it was good it was really good actually and now i'm gonna cross the street um so i can see some of the stuff on the other side Top of 
one of the few bridges over this little, I don't even know what to call this, but it's pretty cool. A little boardwalk, river area. There's all types of boats. As you saw, I think it's part of some type of fundraiser, but I stumbled upon uh, this art center. So I'm gonna go see if they're open. Y'all know I love a free. Y'all So I am back from my little field trip to Frederick. It looked like a Hallmark movie, <laughs> like the the streets and the, all the decorations and this just, just the whole setup. It looked like something out of a, a throwback movie. But yeah, my time there was really nice. The Cuban place I went to was really good. I would give it like a nine out of ten. Uh, just one thing that I would change, I would probably like have a vegetable on the plate, maybe some type of pickled veggies or salad or something. But other than that, it was on point. So I, I had the Roca Vieja, so uh, it was it was really tasty. They had a lot of Mexican places there, a lot of Mexican places in that little section I was in. But uh, I do enjoy Cuban food, and since Cuban food is not as readily accessible, at least where I am, as Mexican food. That's why I opted to go to the Cuban place, and I'm, I'm glad I did go, because it was good. But yeah, lots of really cool little restaurants and shops down there. As you saw, I went to a glass blowing place. It was really a smoke shop. I think I missed that part on the sign, but uh, I was talking to the lady that was working in there. She might have been the owner, <laughs> but um, I was talking to her, and she was saying that they used to do live glass blowing uh, pre-COVID so they hope to start it up again 
uh, you know, when all of this is over. But yeah, it was cool. They had some cool artwork in there. Also, you saw me go to the Delaplane Art Center, I believe it was called. So they were kind of in between shows. The, the girl there explained to me. So they didn't have too much hanging up, but it was really nice still. And they had a gift shop in there. And then you saw the amazing, I don't even know what to call that, courtyard slash uh, river with the gondolas <laughs> in them. And they had the little walkover bridges. So yeah, it's a very, very walkable town. Uh, Some place you could take your dog. I saw plenty of people um, walking around with their dogs. So it's definitely a very um, walkable place pet friendly area. There were a lot of people eating outside, even though it's a little cooler. Um, a lot of the restaurants had, had it set up for outdoor dining. So there was a lot of people eating lunch outside. Um, and it was a good amount of people down there. I guess people still enjoying their, their Christmas break and enjoying the nice sunny day. But yeah, I would definitely visit Frederick again. I would definitely visit downtown Frederick again. I definitely recommend it if you're ever bored and you just uh, want somewhere to go uh, that's not too far away. If, if you're in the DMV area, I, I would definitely recommend um, going out there and just spending a couple of hours out there. But yeah, so that was fun. And yeah, we'll see what I get into tomorrow. <laughs>